and taking off the stock tire or stock rim and tire and putting on the new Electro and Co tire that they uh, they sell. Um, my chain tensioner spring snapped. Okay, this is a Electro and Co uh, one, and this is the second one that has. Um, but it's because I wasn't using them right, man, and neither was I using the stock one right after my other stock one went bad. <clears throat> and maybe maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe uh, other people have made the same mistake. But let me tell you, <clears throat> before you go and put your uh, spring on, your spring has to con has to hold on somewhere else. So it's gonna hold on to your tensioner like that around the stud. Okay, around that stud right there. All right. But once it's around the stud like this there's a little hole here like almost it's exactly the diameter of this right like, there see that hole boom it's filled with with junk right now that's where that's gonna go like that spring it'll get screwed and it'll have its spring you'll see what i mean okay so it's better to flip your bike over with the chain tensioner, man. Uh, I already had the other part done. So that hole, it's got to go into that hole. I'm going to take it apart just to show y'all what it has to do. Okay. So, man, I had just figured it out, man. There's a hole right there that that spring's got to catch on. You see it? Right here. See that hole? Hopefully y'all are seeing that. Okay, I didn't know that. So mine was just sliding right here. See all that's great. This that's straight up how I was doing it. I was putting it on here and letting it hang there. And this right here would be what was stopping it. See that? That's what was stopping it. And the only thing and I was tightening that. That's wrong, man. You gotta put it on like this and into this hole right here so it's around the stud in the hole and if you got uh, electro and co's you're gonna have to make that hole bigger somehow okay let it hang right there you already have my chain and everything put together over here so i'm gonna slide this up on the chain tensioner okay everything straight this <clears throat> chain dirty and then i'm gonna put this on the stud but i'm gonna put it around the spring first okay i hope y'all can see that see i'm just taking it it's in the hole pulling it up sliding it over like that and onto the stud okay and then i'm going to fiddle and that's just hanging there for a second fiddle this to where it goes in there like that and now when i lift this up see it's on that chain it's on the tensioner and stayed in the hole now i'm just going to screw that stud it's way easier to screw the stud Lift for this. Voila, figured out, man. <clears throat> All right, I can see the chain tensioner actually functions. Look at that. I'm actually working chain tensioner now. No zip ties. Oh yeah, man. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Goes all the way down like that. Okay. If it's any phone you want. Sorry about my dirty hands. Boom, tripod. Any size you want, all the way to 62, 62 millimeters or 62 inches. I mean, that's, it goes up to my face, man. So pretty cool. And then depending on what size uh, you need it to be, and then it can angle also, and you can tighten this to stop that from angling where you want it. Yes, baby, I can. Just doing a quick bit. Sorry. It's 
Let's short as you want it. Fold it. Shortest. <clears throat> I mean, man. Any size you want. Get it all up in there. Angle it. <clears throat> 